What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Oh, man, here we go. Oh, I hear them. What's up, man? It's Mr. Warmack. I'm doing a video because I'm hearing all the whining and the crying. I'm still a victim. <laughs> I can go out here and buy all this video equipment. I can go across the country. I can get a job. I can do this. I can broadcast on YouTube. And yet I'm still a victim. Boom. Fuck out of here. You know, I'm, I'm going to talk about this one, this video. People are still crying that they're a victim. You know, I mean, like, if that's all they're doing. They're crying that they're a victim. You know, they're using an excuse to stay in their victimization. They're using an excuse to never come up out of life. If you look, 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 look at all these people that cry, that, uh, you're, and then they're going to tell you, you're a victim. No, no, you're just a fucking loser. You know, you, you're, and most of these people, excuse me, they're in their 40s and they're in their 50s. They're either my age or up, who wasted their life. Who, 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 they, don't have, they don't have a pop to piss them or a window to throw it out of. You ask them what they've done with their life. I mean, they're like 40-year-olds with fucking mixtapes, you know? Or they're 50-year-olds trying to relive their glory of when they were, like, 19 and playing, you know, playing kamikaze swords and shit. It's just that they will look, look, they will look for anything to tell you to stay near your victimization. They'll tell you that we need to... Here's, here's the best one. Remember back in the day when all these motherfuckers used to say, we need to go back to Africa? And then there was, there was others than myself saying... Y'all ain't going back to Africa because if they're killing Africans, are killing Africans, and you and you just uh, they think you got even bit of money. That blade gonna come across your neck, and you're gonna it's, if you ain't built over here, you damn sure gonna be built over in Africa. Uh, and, and then they then, then they started to go. Well, we need to separate ourselves from America. Number one, let me let me explain something like I did in one video. Remember Rick Perry you know, did all that bullshit posturing like, like, like when Obama got elected. And they're all secession talking to Texas, and those are rich white people. And guess what? The army, the, the military is ready to bear down on their fucking asses. What are we going to do to a bunch of stumble bum drunk black guys who don't have a plan and be who are, who turn on each other left and right? What do you think they're going to do to you guys? All I got to do to you guys is give you guys a pizza to tell on each other, and you're going to do it because that's you got a bunch of stumble bum drunks. I mean, it's, to me, it's crazy that like you guys even suggest half the stuff you suggest. Whenever you guys aren't built for what you're talking about, I mean, it's just you just just be a victim and go off to the side and roll over. I mean, jeez. I mean, you, I don't have any sympathy on, on any of this stuff. I don't because they had the same chance, and a lot of them, if you look, a lot of them have like a little town or something. They never took advantage of their talents. We're upon where a lot of us take advantage of what we have. Some of us don't have a lot, but you take advantage of what you have. And some of them were just, you know what the problem was? A lot of these victims were getting chance after chance after chance. Well, suddenly hit that wall where it was done, and now they want to cry they're a victim. Look, look at their lives. If, if they're crying that they're a victim, that's code word for they're a fuck up. This, this like I said, I mean, I'm not talking about like no rape victim and stuff like that. I'm talking about these grown men and women, these able-bodied men and women who don't have a job, who, who, who wasted their life, and now they're now all of a sudden they're in their fifties and they're asking themselves, well, "What the fuck did I do with myself?" Then they, they can use this victimization as their cover-up for their fucked up life. Like I said, look at the people that look, look at the people claiming that. Look at their life. They're, 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 they're fuck ups, seriously. I mean, I, I ain't trying to be mean or nothing, but I'm just trying to give you the facts. Look at all these people claiming victimization. There's something wrong with their life. And, they, and if you don't believe me, believe the people that expose them. You know, so it's just, it's, it's forever a victim, man. I mean, then you gotta you got hear a little tat day and all the little sob stories. Well, and then you go back and do the research, and then you look at their background and you see where they messed up. 
they were they were responsible for something, and they refuse to take responsibility for anything they do. By the way, and then, and then when they do, they want they want to take responsibility, but they still somehow want to deflect it on. Well, this is why the, this, I did this because they did this. No, you just you just messed up, Holmes. You messed up. Take your responsibility. Be a man. Be a woman. Do whatever you have to do. But you want to be a victim all the time. Be a victim. Be a, I'll make a song on that, bro. I want to like let some of you guys that are 40 years old got a fucking mixtape. Get the fuck out of here, man. Come on. Be a victim. Oh, you be these victims, man. And if you find, and if you notice, these victims are the biggest haters in the black community. They're the biggest whiners in the black community because they see other young black people doing something and they want to hang on the gang, on their gang. Because you couldn't do it because you're a victim. You want to lay down a roll over and do this in life? Do that in life. But Nobody gonna scratch your belly or scratch your ears, bro. If you don't want to get up and do something for your life, that's your problem, not mine. You know, they, 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 they can't get over their victimization because they don't want to get over their victimization. And they, 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 they never, they never, they want to just feel sorry for a lot of bullshit they've done. Like I said, that they have done. I mean, I just see these, these videos, I'm like, oh, I'm still a victim. And you ain't no goddamn victim. You're just a lazy bum. Well, that's all you are. You want somebody to feel sorry for you. Hey, get out of here, man. You don't feel sorry for you. You know, you need to learn how to live your life accordingly. A lot of you, a lot of you just, uh, just, and I, I want to excuse my French on this video. I don't, I don't seem like I'm sounding mean on this video. But, like, like I'm, I'm proving points, man. A lot of these people are just fucked up. I mean, they're just out, out to lunch. And, and they want to be, they want to say, well, I'm a victim. And then you look at their history. Oh, like, you're, how are you a victim when you're fucking up on me? You know, a victim is, and then, then they're all going, woe is me. Then they want, then one minute they want to be the woe is me type. Oh, woe, woe is I. Oh, woe is I. The next minute they want to be the line 11 on and rescue you out of, the, out, of the, out of your victimization. Get the fuck out of here. Let me tell you this, and, and, and I'm gonna bet you victims right here, pay attention to these words. Circle what I'm saying because you're gonna get mad. Pay attention, victims. No victim in history has ever done anything worthwhile. No victim has took anybody out of the victimization. No victim has done anything. There have been people who overcame their victimization, yes, but no current victims. If you're still a victim, why, why do I want you in charge of me when you're a crybaby and don't even want to recognize your own life? No victim. No, there's no such thing as a victim doing anything for anybody else except for themselves. A victim is going to stay, oh, what was I? What was I? I have to do work. Oh, boo, oh, feel sorry for me. I'm not going to feel sorry for you because you're a fucking loser. You got to get off your own. You got to stay on your own, too. Especially if you're a dude. Stay on your own too. So I won't make this video because I'm getting sick and tired of these victims. So be a victim. I don't care. It's your business. If that's how you get off, go ahead. Peace.